Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3. It says, ask the Lord to bless your plans and you will be successful in carrying them out. Ask the Lord to bless your what? Your plans. It's the good news translation. It says, ask the Lord to bless your what? Your plans. And you will be successful in carrying them out. So let us assume you don't have a plan. You just kneel before God and say, God bless me. Oh, God bless me. With a mighty blessing, I speak abundance. Super abundance. Super abundance. And overflow, Lord. And overflow, Lord. And then the Lord is checking, but it doesn't have a plan. She doesn't have a plan. So where will the overflow come from? You'll be wondering in heaven. Where is the overflow going to come from? He's failing to even plant a garden next to the wall of his home. The tape is here, and the fertile ground is just one meter away from the tap. He's failing to grow vegetables next to the tap, and then he's talking of a tapu story. In <laughs> twenty. <laughs> You are failing to harness water which is here. And the fertile ground is two meters away here. You don't want to take a, a bucket and just water. Granted, you can buy other vegetables. You have got small ground. But why not demonstrate to God that you can use the little ground that you have to grow some carrots and chomoli? You want God to give you a commercial farm and then you go and trouble people at Mishatangela then. When you are failing to plant 20 square feet of ground that you have next to, you, to the wall of your house, the devil is a liar. Look at your neighbor and say, we must commit our plans to God. You can't commit nothing to God and then you expect God to bless nothing. Hallelujah. It says, ask the Lord to bless your plans. God is a God of those who have plans. He draws near those who have got a plan. That's when God, to, you know for God to bless Jacob. Jacob didn't know what to do because... Granted, he was a small crook, but his uncle, it seems they had learned being crooks from Lapan's family. His uncle was a PhD in crook, being a crook. He started to say those that are speckled will be yours when he knew that the sheep were by and large just white. And then what did Jacob do? He had a plan, obviously he prayed to God. And then he peeled off some sticks so that when the sheep and the goats are drinking and when they mate, they will produce the, the, the sheep and the, the, the goats that are speckled. Are we clear, my brothers and sisters? He had the plan. He did something in the natural and then left the rest to God. You've got to do something for God to do another thing. But for God to do something when we are not doing anything, he will never do that. Are we clear, my brothers and sisters? God will not come into your life when you are not active and then begin to do something. It will never happen. It won't happen. Just read your pipe. Whoever was blessed by God, they were doing something. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we must plan. When you read this verse, it's telling you to go and plan. What's your plan for this year? If I open your phone, can I see? Because your phone, it can be a diary. This can be an office. It's not for storing songs and other things. And then you are not planning with it. There is a calendar. You can download a calendar, a Google planner. You can download a Google planner. It's even cheaper than some of the music that you download. You can download a Google plan which assists you to plan your month from beginning to end, vacations and all of, this, all of that stuff. If you are not organized, God will not take you to the next level. 
Because in the next level requires more organization. It requires you to be organized. Are we clear, my brothers and sisters? Because the more God elevates you, the more you lose your freedom and you become a slave or a servant of others.